In the most recent transaction to Burn Wallet, Binance, the biggest cryptocurrency exchange in the world, destroyed 1.7 billion Terra Luna Classic tokens on Monday. Nearly 62 billion LUNC had been burned by Binance as of the 23rd batch of the LUNC burn mechanism. Furthermore, the Terra Luna Classic community has burned almost 125 billion LUNC tokens in total. Since 2022, Binance has supported the community's efforts to revive the Terra Luna Classic by offering a monthly LUNC burn mechanism. According to the burn transaction on July 1st, the cryptocurrency exchange Binance burned 1.7 billion Terra Luna Classic tokens for the benefit of the Terra Luna Classic community. 8.5 million LUNC in taxes were also reported in the burn transaction. The tax 2 gas rollout, which is anticipated this month, will probably strengthen the burn narrative. The LUNC burn mechanism's 23rd batch, the trading fees that Binance incurred between May 31st and June 29th were very high. Through trading fees on LUNC spot and margin trading pairings, Binance has already burned around 61.99 billion Terra Luna Classic coins. The net burn of the Terra Luna Classic community has now exceeded 125 billion LUNC as a result of Binance's most recent fire. Since the community took over the chain, Binance has accounted for more than 50% of all LUNC burned. Less transactions are the cause of the low burn amount compared to the community. 1.35 billion Terra Luna Classic coins were burned by Binance during the 22nd LUNC burn mechanism. The exchange lost $170,000 in trading fees on LUNC spot and margin trading pairs, totaling 1.35 billion. Terra is an open-source blockchain payment platform for an algorithmic stablecoin, which are cryptocurrency that automatically track the price of currencies or other assets. The Terra blockchain enables users to instantly spend, save, trade, or exchange Terra stablecoins. The Terra protocol creates stablecoins which are designed to consistently track the price of a fiat currency, a government-backed currency such as the US dollar or euro. It consists of two cryptocurrency tokens which include Terra and Luna. Terra are stablecoins that track the price of fiat currencies and are named after them. For instance, the base Terra stablecoin tracks the price of the International Monetary Fund's special drawing rights and is named Terra SDR or SDT. Other Terra stablecoin denominations include Terra USD, UST, which tracks the US dollar, and Terra KRW, KRT, which tracks the South Korean one. Users mint new Terra by burning Luna. Luna, on the other side, is used for governance and mining. Luna is the Terra protocol staking token which absorbs the price volatility of Terra stablecoins. Users stake Luna to Terra blockchain miners, called validators, who record and verify transactions on the blockchain and receive rewards from transaction fees as compensation. As Terra's usage grows, Luna's worth increases as well. Primary features of Terra. Asterisk Terra aims to boost efficiency for payment service providers and value for customers in the rapidly developing Asian e-commerce sector. Asterisk Terra uses Cosmos blockchain technology to challenge existing retail payment apps. Asterisk Terra, being a complete end-to-end -end payment solution, avoids the present fragmented payment infrastructure. Asterisk using Terra's technology may save payment service providers hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Asterisk the Terra crypto network employs its native Luna currency as a utility and governance token to manage the collateralizing processes that back and safeguard the price stability of Terra's stablecoins. Pros and cons of Terra. Pros. Asterisk the Terra ecosystem also includes a blockchain agnostic development platform that lets software developers construct their own protocols and dApps on top of Terra. Asterisk the Terra protocol supports several currency linked stablecoins. Asterisk Terra Luna tokens help stabilize its stablecoin. It encourages trade between Luna and stablecoins to boost or decrease supply. Asterisk Terra introduced Anchor, a savings and lending system. This protocol lets users deposit and earn interest on stablecoins. Cons. Asterisk Terra is still lagging behind major cryptocurrency initiatives like Ethereum. Asterisk most Terra-related cryptocurrency transactions originate in Korea where its creators reside. It is too early to tell if Terra-related currencies will catch on elsewhere. Asterisk Terra is less decentralized than Ethereum. This may turn off some blockchain purists. In detail, Terra is a payment system that resides and is built upon a blockchain. 
It was developed by South Korea-based Terraform Labs, which was founded in 2018 by Du Quan and Daniel Shin. Du Quan was formerly employed by Microsoft and Apple and founded a startup, Anify, which offered decentralized wireless mesh networking solutions. Shin is the founder and CEO of Asian payment technology company Chai, a Terra partner, and was co-founder of Korean e-commerce firm Tmon, also known as Ticket Monster. In its quest to become a leading e-commerce stablecoin payment and decentralized finance, DeFi service provider, Terra has a growing ecosystem in the crypto space with 114 projects across DeFi, Web 3.0, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Some of these projects include Asterisk Anchor Protocol, a fixed yield platform with borrowing yields and frictionless access, Asterisk Chai, a payments app with over 2 million users in South Korea, Asterisk Loterra, a decentralized lottery platform built on the Terra blockchain, Asterisk Mirror Protocol, allows for the creation of fungible assets or synthetics that track real-world asset prices, Asterisk Talus Protocol, a platform where artists can sell their creations and offer services. Asterisk Vega Protocol. A platform for minting and trading derivatives. Because the primary value of stablecoins is derived from the stability of the price peg, theoretically bypassing the volatility typical of cryptocurrencies, the Terra Protocol attempts to maintain the price of the Terra stablecoin by ensuring that the supply and demand for it are always balanced by employing arbitrage. Luna is the variable counterweight to the Terra stablecoin and absorbs its volatility. To understand how Terra works, envision the entire Terra economy to consist of a Terra pool and a Luna pool, which are used to adjust the price via incentives for network participants. Despite the crash that happened last year, the developers are still working tirelessly underneath the project to ensure everything stays good. A few weeks ago, a news article arrived on CoinGape saying the Terra Luna Classic developers submitted a key proposal to introduce and boost liquid staking derivatives. According to the proposal, developers seek to change the allowed interchain account host messages to bring Quicksilver support, an interchain liquid staking protocol for the Cosmos ecosystem. This allows the Quicksilver chain to transparently create and control accounts on the Terra Luna Classic chain and execute allowed messages. It will also allow interchain staking on any validators as well as maximize liquidity and capital efficiency by improving network security and decentralization. Moreover, it removes the unbonding period wait requirement before a position holder is able to sell his staked assets. Seeing this, you should know that the Terra Luna developers are still working on the betterment of the project. This is to tell you that no hope is lost with Terra Luna yet. I believe everything will be fine soon. I also believe you can be rich off Terra Luna's investment. But it all depends on how much you are investing in Terra Luna Classic, how much you expect from the market, and how long you are willing to hold for. LUNC is the native token of Terra Luna. This will be the end of the video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and invest wisely. Thanks.